Hi everyone. I got a request some time ago um, to talk about intermittent fasting. First of all, I want to say that I am not an expert in this topic, but I did it for some time, so I'm going to explain a bit what it is and I'm going to talk about my experience. So what is intermittent fasting? It's not really a diet. It's more of a plan where you have certain specific hours in the day to eat and then you fast for the rest of the time of the day. And some people don't even do it for um, parts of a day, but they can eat for a full day and then they can fast for one or two days. So there are different ways that you can do this. How does it work? Well, the same way a diet works. <laughs> If you're in a calorie deficit, you will lose weight. So basically that's it. How to do it. As I said before, you have to plan certain hours in the day to eat and certain hours to fast. So you can start little by little because you don't know how you would react and how you will adapt to it. So you can start eating for 12 uh, for a window of 12 hours in a day. You can get all, all of your meals during that 12 hour window and then you can fast for 12 hours and then work towards increasing the fasting window. Um, it's very common for people to fast between 14 and 16 hours and then eat for the remainder of the day. The way that I did it was that I started more or less at 14 hours. So I would have dinner around 7 or 8 and then I would eat my first meal the next day would be um, around 10, 11 or so. I changed this through time while I was getting, while my body was adapting to it um, by having earlier dinner around 7 and then later um, lunch, which, which was around 12. So basically you're skipping some of your meals. Um, some people skip their breakfast. Breakfast is really the first meal you have in the day. So you're just having breakfast around lunch like I did, or they skip their dinner, their last meal of the day. So you can work with what will be best for you. I work out late in the day after i've had several meals so that helps me with the energy and have a good workout so i skipped my first meal in the day and then i worked out in the afternoon and i had my last meal of the day after that if you work out in the morning then i don't recommend you skip your first meal you should nourish your body after your workout. So then in this case, you can probably skip your last meal in the day. So intermittent fasting as any other um, plan, diet plan or any other method is not for everyone. So you have to check what's best for you. If you wanna try it, you can go ahead if you don't have any contraindications but um, you might find that it's not right for you how do you know that you can probably see no results at all no changes or um, you can see some adverse effects in you what could be those some people get their hormones out of whack so you have to track that if you tend to have issues with your hormones then intermittent fasting might not be right for you some people start losing their sleep and they get headaches you can think that part of this is just getting used to it but for some people this is really serious so you have to be really really aware of what's going on with your body how do you know if you might get some of these adverse effects. First of all, if you have a poor nutrition, 
I wouldn't recommend it if you have poor sleep, poor quality sleep. If you go through too much stress, if you exercise a lot, if you have any health condition, then I would advise not to, not to do it. Also, there are other contraindications for intermittent fasting. It is only recommended for adults and pregnant or breastfeeding women shouldn't be doing this because they need the caloric intake. And also, women that are going through menopause should evaluate other factors because it might not be right for them at that time. So as I've been saying, you have probably noticed already that intermittent fasting will not be as effective probably not in all cases, right? But for some cases, will not be as effective for women. And that's because of the hormone profile that we have. It's very different to men. Intermittent fasting has been shown to be benef very beneficial to men and they can see results very quickly. But women have found that they don't see results as quick or as good as men. And that's mostly because of the difference in hormones. So about my experience, as I said, I started doing intermittent fasting um, using a window of 14 hours of fasting. Most of the time I was fasting, I was just asleep, which is the recommended thing to do because that way her metabolism is, is lower and it will and you won't be feeling hungry while you're sleeping compared to as if you're fasting while you're awake. So try to diminish the hours that you're fasting while you're awake. That's one tip to do, to do this. So I started, while I was getting used to it, I started increasing the fasting window and I got up to 16 hours. The first time I, the first week I started fasting, it wasn't really easy because I was used to having my breakfast and I was used to to drinking my chai tea um, right out of bed and I, I wasn't doing any of those things right because I was fasting when you're doing intermittent fasting the only things you're allowed to drink are non-caloric um, beverages which means water, black coffee and tea that has no calories, no sugar, no flavorings. So I I could like I could stay hydrated and I could keep my my hunger down by drinking um, green tea in the morning and by drinking around 32 ounces of water in the morning and that helped me a lot because something that I found out is that if I don't eat um, my breakfast, I start getting headaches. For a long time, I thought that was because I was hungry, but uh, I started reading and also dehydration causes headaches. And once I started hydrating myself better, I saw lots of improvement with my headaches. So after a week or so, I started getting used to it. Um, so I wasn't getting as hungry. Um, and as I said, I was having something to eat around 10 or 11, and then I could get to 12, 12.30. And once you eat, eat something like a normal meal that you would eat, don't go overboard because you are feeling hungry. So remember, if you're doing this, it will mostly be to lower your caloric intake so you have to be very aware of how big your meals are throughout the day how many calories you're consuming throughout the day because if you're doing intermittent fasting but then in your eating window you are eating lots of calories then what's the purpose of it you're defining the purpose the other thing is that i really don't remember but i i was low energy and I probably got sick. I don't remember for sure, but this is something that happens to a lot of people when they drastically change in their diet or they start eating less. 
Um, so that's something that will probably happen to you. You might get a cold, you might feel low for one or two days, and but then you will be fine. So as any change in your diet, this will take time. This will take adapting. Um, so be if you're doing this, be very aware of what your symptoms are, how are you feeling, how are your emotions as well, and be very aware of what's going on with you. You might need to stop it because it, as I said before, it's not for everyone. A lot of things are happening in your body and it could be stressing your body a lot. At the end uh, of my fasting period, did I see any results? So I actually was in maintenance for that time. I was working out normally, not more than usual. Um, and I was fasting. I didn't really want to lose any weight. I just wanted to do maintenance. And I could say okay, I met my goal because uh, I could maintain my weight. I did fasting for around six months and I stopped it once the pandemic started because I wasn't going to the gym I it was a lot harder to to keep my workouts uh, my workout style at home to keep building that muscle and I actually started losing a lot of muscle so I needed to start eating more so I stopped intermittent fasting to go back into a caloric surplus, which I needed for that time. I hope this information um, wasn't complicated. I hope that um, if you had any doubts, I could clear them out for you. If you need more information, please do your own research. As I said at the beginning, I'm not an expert and as I said, intermittent fasting is not for everyone. So just because everyone is talking about it doesn't mean you should do it. I also try these things because I know that my clients will come to me asking me about it. And one way of really learning and understanding the trend is just to go through it, experience it. So that's also one reason why I did this. Um, so... I gave you my opinion, I shared a bit of my knowledge, so it's up to you to keep researching if you're evaluating on doing it or not, and draw your own conclusions. And again, if you have any health condition, talk to your physician, because probably it's not recommended for you. Hi there! Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. For more fitness and nutrition tips, you can also follow me on Instagram or Facebook.